Claire Can, let's talk about love. Dive into the world of effective feedback as the summary of A Let's Talk About Love by Claire Can explores the key ingredients for meaningful and impactful conversations. Discover the different types of feedback, appreciation, coaching, and evaluation, and understand the importance of adopting a flexible, compassionate, and forgiving mindset. Learn how relational listening, being generous with praise, and addressing negative feedback with a growth mindset can lead to stronger relationships and empowered employees. This engaging and instructive overview will help you demystify complex notions and provide user-friendly language to foster powerful communication within your team. Effective Feedback Strategies Giving effective feedback requires understanding the conversation you need to have. Don't limit yourself to viewing feedback as positive or negative, but instead consider appreciation, coaching, and evaluation. Appreciation is a great way to build relationships, coaching helps employees learn and grow, and evaluation gives feedback on where they stand make sure to differentiate between coaching and evaluation to avoid confusion and damage. Develop the right mindset for giving feedback. Before giving feedback, it's important to have a flexible, compassionate, and forgiving mindset that will help you to build trust and connection with the person you're talking to. There are three common mindset traps to avoid when giving feedback. Firstly, delivering a script might make you too focused on delivering lines rather than listening. Secondly, siding with the problem instead of the employee can make the person feel isolated. Finally, forgetting that people can change can ruin your feedback session. Therefore, describe the behaviors you've noticed and explain their possible effects, rather than attacking your employee personally. Adopting the right mindset before giving feedback can significantly improve the results. Effective feedback, making good intentions known. Many people have good intentions when it comes to giving feedback, but often end up failing to communicate effectively. The key to success lies in making those good intentions known. Simply telling employees that you want them to succeed can have a massive impact on the way they receive feedback. Acknowledging their concerns and linking feedback to their personal needs can further establish your commitment to their success. By doing so, you can turn ineffective feedback into positive outcomes that benefit both you and your employees. The Art of Listening Relationally Effective feedback starts with listening, not just speaking. The ability to listen relationally is a crucial skill that is often overlooked in the workplace. To listen relationally, we need to focus on understanding the other person's point of view through empathy, not judgment. This approach makes them feel heard, secure, and reduces stress enabling them to receive feedback positively. One key strategy to show relational listening is by validating their feelings without necessarily agreeing with them. This article emphasizes that listening should be given as much importance as speaking and is vital in building good working relationships. The Power of Praise Effective praise is essential for better team performance. Giving positive recognition helps motivate continued good work, uplifts the whole team, and creates engagement and motivation. People tend to feel like they don't get enough praise. However, research has consistently shown that praised employees are more productive, engaged and perform better in the future. The highest performing teams receive more than five pieces of praise for every criticism. To harness this positive cycle, managers must recognize and praise we strengths that elevate teams instead of only me strengths. Commendation for behaviors that improve team performance helps install positive attitudes and creates groundwork for success. Being generous with praise is the key to unlock improved team performance. Giving negative feedback. Giving negative feedback can be stressful, but it's necessary for managers. Research reveals that employees' cognitive function is adversely affected by stress and inhibitors their ability to remember things and think. As a manager, it is vital to understand the correct way to offer negative feedback, which includes connecting with employees personally and in a one-on-one -on -one setting. Using a growth mindset where employees can learn and improve behaviors instead of unchangeable identities can make a difference. 
When addressing deeply personal or awkward issues such as hygiene or conduct, acknowledge the situation's sensitivity and remind the employee of your good intentions. Allow them to explain themselves and find a solution. Consistent feedback is key. Regularly checking in with employees and having frequent evaluations can prevent surprises, improve job satisfaction, and nip issues in the bud before they become major problems. Evaluations should be less frequent than coaching, but still at least every six months. For new or underperforming employees, check-ins should be even more frequent. To ensure mutual understanding, have employees provide their top takeaways from feedback conversations and set concrete improvement goals if necessary. In conclusion, let's talk about love. By Claire Kin teaches us to transform our feedback skills by understanding the difference between appreciation, coaching, and evaluation, all the while fostering a compassionate and forgiving mindset. By embracing relational listening and being open about our intentions, we can create an environment of trust and understanding. Generous praise and giving negative feedback with a growth mindset further enhances the ability to have meaningful and empowering conversations with our employees. Remember, regular check-ins are essential to avoid surprises and keep everyone on the same page. Harness these powerful insights and techniques to build stronger relationships and foster a culture of growth and development in your team.